My name is Dimitri Kapolenko and I am an open source developer as well as member of an open source project management committee for Aperio CAS project. And today I would like to give you a brief overview of the state of CAS project in 2022. So what is CAS? CAS stands for Central Authentication Service and it is an Apache licensed open source project. So what is the purpose of CAS? Well, in a nutshell, CAS server is a multi-protocol authentication broker and web single sign-on solution. Modern CAS versions provide a comprehensive platform for centralized authentication and authorization needs. While CAS server contains many useful support modules, some of its main purposes are Act as a centralized identity provider supporting multiple protocols such as SAML2, OAuth, OpenID Connect, REST, as well as its own native and mature CAS protocol. Provide web single sign-on functionality. And last but not least, centralized and broker to many backend authentication systems, eliminating the need for applications to manage these aspects and deal with passwords themselves. Some of the authentication backends supported by KS are LDAP directories, relational database systems, Kerberos, Radius, MongoDB, X509 certificates, REST, to name just a few. And KS server as a platform also provides a flexible and pluggable extension facilities so custom authentication modules could be easily plugged into it. As for the releases, the current stable release of CAS is 6.5.5 with a couple of more patch releases in 6.5 line scheduled in July of 2022. At the same time, the major development work has been happening towards the next major feature release which will be labeled as 6.6.0 with several release candidates already available for a test drive. The general availability release for version 6.6 is scheduled towards the end of July of 2022. And here you could see and visit the links for CAS milestones, its maintenance policy and release policy. And now I would like to highlight a few major themes and features of version 6.6. First is OpenID Connect JMeter's performance testing. JMeter scripts used to run performance tests for CAS running as OpenID Connect provider are now integrated uh, in the CAS uh, continuous integration system to ensure the test scripts and functionality under the tests continue to run smoothly. Next, support has been added for system properties and environment variables to be able to overwrite properties that are found in CAS configuration files. And next, internal rewriting of CAS components. Components has been done to improve uh, for building native images. And also in this release, there have been uh, many, many library upgrades. And for the next item, uh, the testing strategy. The collection of end-to-end -end browser tests uh, based on the Puppeteer framework in CAS continue to grow to cover more use cases and scenarios. Uh, at the moment, the total number of uh, test scenarios is approximately 287. And the overall test coverage of CAS uh, code base uh, as of right now is approximately 94%. And of course, this is not an exhaustive list of features that will be available in CAS version 6.6. .6. So for more comprehensive list, please uh, visit uh, the release notes link provided on the slide. And uh, here are some of the resources for CAS server. Uh, its main source code repository uh, is hosted on GitHub. The, its main documentation site available for many versions and uh, the main support page, which contains uh, resources for Aperio Foundation membership various commercial support vendors, as well as resources to the free community support channels, such as mailing lists and various public chat rooms. And with that, I'd like to conclude my brief status of the Cast project in 2022. Thanks for your attention.